Hi, this is Emily from It's a Wonderful Wig. I'm going to review today for you three different Gabor wigs from the Gabor Essentials line and show you a few different colors, some black, some brown, and some blonde. Three basic cap but high quality wigs by Gabor that I really like. I've just received two out of three of them. And I want to show you um, what they look like and some of the different colors and things like that. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, by the way, please do so. I do upload new reviews of different wig brands on Tuesdays and Fridays, including some wig chats and advice for new wig wearers as well. Um, and in case anybody's wondering, what I'm wearing now is also by Gabor. This is Radiant Beauty, and this is from her luxury line. So it has a little bit more of the lace front, um, the monocle top. Um, less permittees, that kind of thing. And this is the one that closest resembles my human hair. So I'm not gonna review, the, review that today, but if you're wondering, that is what I'm wearing, is Radiant Beauty by Gabor in, I believe it's black coffee. Okay, so first I wanna talk the, the difference between the Gabor Essentials and the Gabor Luxury. Um, basically it's what it sounds like. So these are the boxes for the Gabor Essential wigs. Um, I get most of mine actually on HSN. They have a ton of them. They let you do payment plans, five monthly payments, and you only have to make one payment to get it home, and then you can return it within 30 days before they charge the next payment or if you don't like it, which is what I love. They don't have them all, but they have a lot of the essential brands. Um, so they're basic cap construction, nothing fancy, but they look nice. They feel buttery soft. They look natural. They're versatile. They're easy. They're budget friendly. They're all probably around the $110 range, $109, which I like. You can get one home for probably like, like one payment of $22 or something like that. So anyway, that's the Gabor Essentials. The Gabor Luxury, obviously they can cost up to the $300 range um, and you have a lot more features, which sometimes is good, sometimes isn't a big deal, depending on what you want to use it for. Um, this, for example, from the Gabor Luxury line is one that I really resembles my natural hair color when it's shorter and when I air dry it, it looks a lot like it. So if I'm really trying to fool people, this is the one that I would wear, people that I don't want to know where I wear wigs. So first I'm going to show you from my three reviews is Aspiration in dark brown and it's a size average. And I always put a little sticker on the top also because when I stack my wig boxes in bins, you know, I open a bin, I want to be able to see from the top what they are so I don't have to pull them all out to read the side. So just so you know. Let me show you Aspiration. Now this is dark brown. It looks very close to black, but it's not. Um, I'm right under the light, so when you're not under the lights, it looks even darker. This is just the plain dark brown. This style has a little bang, it has a little bit of wave. Let me show you the inside. You see kind of the basic, um, basic kind of open cap, very airy. They're all very light, you can get your fingers through. They're not heavy, but the hair is soft. You know, it feels, let me get my comb. It feels like real hair. The only thing I don't like about these that sell on HSN, and you can get a lot of these wigs too on wigs.com wig studio one things like that but um they don't show on hsn you know they're not a specialty wig shop they sell everything from clothing to makeup to household goods right so they don't know to include all the details they actually don't include length and um uh inches of any of their wigs on there so you have to kind of do a little more research if you're, if you're worried about that this is considered a long a mid-length style which might look longer on some than me because um, I'm pretty tall and I have a long face. So I'm just combing it, shaking it out a little. So I'm going to get this on for you and show it to you as I take off my Gabor and lift and pull. And then I can show you real quick, right, this difference here. We have a lace front. We have a, actually this one was a side mono part. Different, you know, the cap feel is different. It's more stretchy. It's lighter so everything about the luxury line is different I'm not gonna say it's better because I've had tons of Gabor essential basic caps that I love and honestly you don't have to worry so much if they don't last as long or you can wear them around the house doing chores or on errands and you know you don't have to worry about the more expensive wigs wearing out all right um, and I'll talk about sizing in a minute but these are all average cap 
Gonna put this on, align these ear tabs here. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of bang wigs because I don't like stuff in my eyes, but I had to try it. So you see how this almost looks black? Now I have to tell you that Gabor, Raquel Welch, and Hairdo are all made by a company called Hair You Wear. And you will see a lot of commonalities. I have a wig by Hairdo in medium brown that's called, I think it's called Wave It Off Wavy or Wavy With Bangs. And I swear it's the same wig. I mean, the bang cut, the kind of Linda Ronstadt style. I did a video on nine different vintage retro looking wigs um, just last week, which was way super fun. I'll link that below. But I, in one of them, I review the wig that matches this by hairdo that looks to me like the same wig. But anyway, maybe this one's a little more full around the top. They might like tweak it a little, but it looks very much the same to me. So this one, you can sweep your bangs if you like. You can have them cut if you want. What I like about the bangs on basic caps is you don't have to worry about the front showing. But this is the dark brown, which is really... I feel like it's really close to black until you maybe see the black then it, I have a black wig I'm going to show you next which is shortcut um, so this is you know it's cute right it's actually not bad you can tuck it behind your ear you don't see really any part or anything because there isn't a mono top you can leave it loose you could put it with a headband. Let's see. I have a little, a little butterfly headband here. Let's see how this looks. Put it right above the bang. Something like that is kind of cute, right? So it depends. I do like hair that covers my bad, my bad eye, but for some reason. It looks shorter on me. I mean, it's a mid-length style, but I've seen some of the models on HSN in the video. They look It looks a lot longer on, but it depends on your size and your face length. So I think I can pretty well get away with this one too as being my natural hair. You know, when I have my natural hair down, even though it's I haven't dyed it, so it's graying on top. When I was dyeing it and when I keep it trimmed or cut at the salon, if I let it air dry, my hair looks just like this, a little thinner on top because I've lost some. Or if I put in bangs, it would look like this. So I think I could almost get away with wearing either of these. You see how this black coffee is? Definitely lighter in the luxury line than this dark brown. But the names of the wigs in the luxury line are a little different than the names and numbers of the wigs in the essentials line. So it gets a little confusing. So anyway, this is Aspiration. And It does have, I feel like it has some of that vintage -y mullet look. I don't know, I don't know why, but super cute. You know, if you do this, it's gonna be all in your eyes, right? You could, you could do whatever you like with this. Or you could make it kind of full. I suppose you could put it in a ponytail, but then you'll have that bowl look on top. So anyway, for kind of that loose plop on and go wave style, I don't think it's actually that bad. Um. So again, this is Aspiration by Gabor Essentials. Let's look though at a black, and it's a super short, it's called Notion. Notion, and it actually is black. And this one is super short. Um, not quite layered enough for me on top. So here we go, let's look at the difference here. We have black. And we have the dark brown. You can see a little difference. This is more solid black. This might look like black undertones with some lighter highlights. So here's here it is. It, I, what I don't prefer about this one is it's so short on one side and longer on the other, although that's probably the style. But let's get this on. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'll show you Notion. This one I'm probably I'm gonna send back because it's just a little, it's a little sh too short for my preference. Although I have been getting more and more into the short wigs. It is cute, don't get me wrong. Um, you can feather it nicely with this, I have this John Renault comb, nicely feathered. 
you know, you can... I like how it looks on this side. A little bit more like Ignite might look. But this side, I feel like it looks too much like a bowl cut in my, for my preference. Certainly it's what you prefer, what looks good on you. So it looks a little more straight across bowl here. And I don't know if I have everything underneath in the back since I just plopped it on, but you can see the nape is pretty short. It's not too short. I mean, I have a ton of hair under here and it, and I did a sloppy job and it still hides it pretty well. I might have a little bump there, but I, I didn't try hard to fix it. So I'm not sure what I think about this. Um, I do like it better with a bigger headband. So let's show you with a bigger headband. I felt like with this one, it kind of, it's cuter. Like it looks more kind of retro with bigger hair a little bit. It takes away some of the bowl shape. I have another short black one called Pixie This I just got. Darn it, that one is black too. And I've been agonizing over comparing the two and I didn't bring that out. I can grab it though if you want. It's just over on my dresser. If you guys want to hold I can go and get it. So what do you think? This is the Notion. So it's longer, smoother. I think it looks way better with a headband, personally. I still don't, just don't know. I, I'm leaning more toward the Pixie one, which is shorter on top, but it, this has, hmm. I don't know. So what do you guys think of this? Would you go for this one? I'm gonna grab that other one. I can't pause this video, but hold tight. I'll be right back. I found it. I wasn't going to review this one yet, but I'm just gonna show it to you guys. All right, why not? Why didn't I think of that before? I don't know. So. Tell me what you think the difference between this one. I'm gonna take this back off. But you know, if you're wearing this one plain, it does get more of that bowl look. Um, so I just, no, it's not a look that I'm used to, but it, I'm torn because I like the side, how it stacks and styles. All right, so there's Notion. This one is called Pixie This. And I'm wrong, it's actually dark brown again, the same color as that longer one we did, which is Aspiration. Okay, so that's all right. I'll show you the difference between a black short and a dark brown short. Here it is. Let's look at these two. This is the one I just did in black, Notion, and this is the dark brown Pixie This. So you see the difference? Okay. Pixie This is really cute. It's got way more like feathering and not so much straight kind of romantic longer pieces. Get this put on. You wanna make sure you run your finger under that you've got all your hair out. Any of your hair or its hair stuck under it. This one I just got also yesterday. I haven't decided which black one I like better yet. So I think I'm leaning toward this one. So there is a difference. This is definitely more of a, I don't, I hate to say a, a boy cut. Maybe it's too long and feathered for that, but it's definitely got the feathering. It's got a little permatease, right? You need that for the volume. A little more punky, maybe a little more hipster. This is more of a, I want short hair out of my way, put on and go while I'm going to Costco and cleaning the garage and things like that. Looks great, but it covers everything. Show you the back. There's the back. Let's see, let's compare this with the headband. Not sure this one will work with a headband as well, because you might smush down those layers. Same headband as before. I think for this one, the other one works better with a headband. Maybe if you do the thin one. Maybe. I got this headband at Claire's, the other ones I got on Amazon. Hmm, I'm not sure. I feel like this one is more just wear plain. So looking at it now, even showing you, I can't decide which one 
I'm more likely to keep. What do you lean toward? Which do you think? For me or for yourself. Again, black versus dark brown. So this definitely has more of that kind of 80s Pet Vanatar punk rock short hair kind of style going on. All right, so that is pixie this in dark brown. But I mean, to me, when I'm looking in the light, right, it looks black to me. But then until you see it next to the black and then you can see a little difference. Um, so I'm going to show you a medium blonde next, which was the original third one I was going to show you. So you can see the dark roots and it's a medium blonde. Hmm, cute. I should have worn this one today. Actually, goes well with my sweater. Okay. Lastly, we're going to look at, this is called Enlighten, in average, also medium blonde. I'm going to show you this one. This one I probably won't keep, even though it was fun trying it on, because I don't fancy the cut for myself. So you can see the medium blonde has the dark brown rooting, which I like. So if you're brunette, you can get away with this. It's got some nice little layers here. It's a shortcut, kind of a feathery bob, but it has these long kind of pieces right on the side, on the around the chin that I didn't care for so much. Same kind of cap construction. Let's plop this on. Take a look, Silu. Put on this one. These still have the tags attached because I just got them. Pull it upward. So, this one you might want to take your comb, separate any pieces where the natural part falls. I do like how it has this kind of love, how it feels when you get to comb and feather these kind of pieces, kind of like when I comb my Ignite. Right, this side is a little different also. You can feather it. You can lift it at the root, give it a little fluff fluff, a little body. But you see what I'm talking about? These pieces on the sides here. I just can't get used to that from my style. It's kind of that modern thing, right? But I just feel like when I look at it, I feel asymmetrical for some reason. Like I, I feel like it, I don't know. I wish it just came straight down. I would have liked that. I love this color and I love the silky smooth and you can make it fuller you can take these and tuck it behind your ear you're gonna see some of your bio hair if you have dark hair but then it's like why not just get a shorter wig if you're gonna tuck it because it makes it look shorter when you tuck those pieces back and then it's hard to get just that piece back and not the other pieces so I just want you to see the color with this medium blonde, this aspiration. This was one of their newer ones. They did a show not long ago where they had three or four new ones. I think just recently around um, uh, 2022, January. So that is enlightened in the medium blonde. But when I look at myself, right, I see these pieces and they just bug me. I don't know. It's like they don't lay flat. They kind of are out. Maybe you could make it stick to your side. Just not sure it's for me. I'm not sure this one would do well with a headband at all. It looks a little like it's not the right style. There's permatease around here. You can feel it, but you can't really see it, which is the benefit of the dark roots. There's a headband in that one. It's not quite the right style for a headband. I also want to show you with glasses on. I should have shown you with the other. You can wear glasses with all of these wigs. When I put my glasses on with the wig, by the way, I put them together, touch my forehead, then I can do this to get any wispies out of the way. I run it down along my temples, takes all the hair out of the way until you get right above the ear and slide it carefully under the ear tabs. There we go. Um, all of these Gabora wigs work just fine with glasses. I've never had a problem. Oh, did I show you the back? Just not sure. 
I like the color. I don't love the cup. That's fine because they have a zillion other wigs to choose from in this color. So there you go, you guys. Actually, I guess I showed you I showed you four different Gavor styles plus the bonus, the one I was wearing today. And I will put that back on one more time if anybody wants to see this. This is, again, my Radiant Beauty um, from her more luxury line. This one is probably double the cost or more than the other. I, You know, in all honesty, I don't feel any difference. In, I don't feel like it's lighter. I don't feel like it feels more realistic than the others. I mean, the hair is, feels like real hair. Like I've... It feels like real hair, it's soft, it's not brittle, doesn't have an unusual shine, this feels the same. These curls are soft, but really, if you wanna just try it, start with the Gabor Essentials and work your way up if you're on a budget. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Those are my apparently five Gabor wig styles that I wanted to show you. Tell me which one you like the best and which ones of the two short black ones did you like the best, the Notion or the Pixie Cut? Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video.